The answer to question 3 is option A, 0 0.039. The next question is question 4. If P is equal to 3 minus 2, 4, 5, 0, 6, 7, 5, minus 1, then minus 2P is equal to what? Okay, now this is a very simple question. If P is equal to this, we should find minus 2P. Minus 2P means we should multiply everything, all this P, everything we have in P with minus 2, that is what it means. If the question is find 3P, it means I should multiply all this with 3. If the question is find 4P, it means I should multiply all this with what 4. So for this example, for this question, find the value of minus 2P, that means I'll be doing minus 2 into everything I have here. Okay? So because of space, let's just do it because of time. Let's do that once. So I'm going to have minus 2 times 3 is going to be minus 6. Remember that minus plus is going to be minus. This is plus. Whenever you don't have a sign in front of the number, it is plus. 2 is 2 has plus in front of it. So uh, minus 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6. But minus in front of 2 times the plus here is what? Minus. Minus plus is minus, minus minus is plus. So this is going to be minus 2 times minus 2. First of all, forget about the sign. What will you have? Normal 2 times 2 is what? First, 4. Then you think about minus times minus is going to be what? Plus. So the next one you have now is minus 2 times 4. 2 times 4 normally is supposed to be 8. Then you think about minus times plus. They are supposed to be what here? Minus here. Yeah. The next one we have is... Um, minus 2 times 5 and that will be minus 10 minus 2 times 0 is 0 anything multiplied by 0 is 0 minus 2 times 6 is minus 12 minus 2 times 7 is minus 14 minus 2 times 5 is minus 10 minus 2 times minus 1 that is minus minus and that will be just 2 so this is the correct answer I don't know the option that um, has that answer you should look very well to make sure there was no discrepancy or difference. Here we have minus 6, minus 10, minus 14. We have 4, 0, minus 10. We have minus 8, minus 12. Okay, I was thinking it would be option A, but our answer we have this place they have plus 12, and everything is the same except plus 12 and minus 12. So you have to check for another option. Uh, option C, there is 3 here, no. Option wow. So it means the correct answer, we don't have the correct answer there in the question. I don't think we have the correct answer there in the question. That's question four. So what I'm supposed to have here is minus two and not that uh, minus twelve and not just twelve. I think there's a typographical error or something. The next question is question five. Find the value of p in terms of q. Now if y and if these two guys intersect at x equal to two, find the value of p. In terms of Q. There are two things you must take note of here. The first thing you must take note of is intersect. Okay, intersect. The next thing you must take note of is find the value of P in terms of Q. But let's take this one first. If they intersect at X equal to 2, it means these two lines are equal. That's what it means. If they intersect at X equal to 2, it means they are equal when X is equal to 2. So what it means is that if this is Y1 and Y2, y1 is equal to y2 at x equal to 2. That's what it means. So what is the y1? This is p x squared plus q will be equal to what is y2? 2x two squared minus 1. At x equal to 2 means I will now put x equal to 2 into all this. Okay? So this will now be p and this is 2 squared plus q is equal to 2 into 2 squared minus 1. So please take note. Even if you have another question, coming back to this, intercept means the both lines are equal. This is equal to this, and that will have here. But take note at x equal to 2, it means when x is equal to 2 from this place. So what I'm going to do next, from here we'll have 2 squared is 4, so this will be 4p plus q will be equal to 2, 2 squared is 4, and then 4 times 4 times 2 will be 4 plus p plus q is equal to 8 minus 1. So this means 4p plus q is equal to 7. 
And now, we will go back to the next statement. Find P in terms of Q. Finding P in terms of Q simply means you should make P the subject of the formula. P is supposed to be the value on the left hand side and Q on the right hand side. If you have a, 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 an equation like 2x plus y and they say find y in terms of x, let me say equal to y, find y in terms of x, it means y should be on the left hand side and you have 1 minus 2x. Knowing positive number cause the side becomes negative. So this is what you have. So here the statement is find p in terms of q. It means make p subject of the formula. So from there we now have 4p will be equal to 7 minus q. Because uh, for me to make p subject of the formula, I have to remove everything from here. And I have to have only p on this side. So for me I have move q to that side, that will be 7 minus q. So the p now will now be 7 minus q divided by 4. If you divide both sides by 4 to remove the 4 from here. And that is the correct answer. Let's check the options. And that will be in option B. Option B is the correct answer.